Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 
Right, so a bit more building. Uh, apparently it's, um, well, they need to walk the grass, don't they? But the actual, you know, enemy sprites, helicopters, tanks and shit like that, they're cool. As I always say, uh, if you had a PC engine and you loved uh, Thunderblade back in the day, uh, and, you know, obviously, I say you have a PC engine, your options would basically be Japanese, be American, uh, or live in France for that very small release. Um, would you have been happy with this? That's cool. Look at that helicopter there. You're not going to let me continue, are you? Oh, hang on. Well, there we go. We'll chalk that up a point right there. But I would have been happy with it. I was happy with it on the Spectrum. Oh, right. I see what you did there. You put me right back to uh, the first stage. So, while you could argue, um, I mean, it is tear text, isn't it, on the, uh, the Amiga. I still think it's really impressive for what it does. That's what started this whole comparison, you know, revisit thing. But that was the whole point of the first stage of Thunderblade, that you could go up and down. So it is impressive on that, even though it's not running at the correct speed on the Amiga, because Paris have thought they released another fucking firmware update after seven bloody months. Poor show, people, seriously. Fucking poor show. Um, and I can't get the ed editing the text file thing to work and to be fair all my mates who've got one and tried that can't get it to work either talking and playing this at the same time is not my bag but i would have been happy with this but so far i mean like i said you can't really compare this to the mega drive version because super thunderblade is technically a sequel that's very similar to the first game but isn't really the first game I guess they're just trying to play to the strengths or the limitations, you could say, of the Mega Drive and give you something that resembles the arcade, but by saying it's not a true arcade port, you know, covering themselves. Whereas this is an arcade port. So, I want to see... Oh, fuck! I want to see past this fucking stage. I want to see what the boat looks like. We're not going to continue. We're going to save our continues. You're probably not going to see the boat. I did get to the boat, um, but obviously in true form, when I'm not actually recording shit then you're not you know uh, that that's when i get there fire 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 so it was what roy scheider in the movie but there was a tv series as well wasn't there that was after the movie i remember my auntie sheila when she lived next door to us then um she rented blue thunder for us we used to go around there and she would look after us when both my mum and dad were at work and yeah she didn't really care about well or worry about and uh, rate it renting age restricted movies we got to see like conan and shit uh terminator yeah good times but yeah she rented blue thunder then i remember it was on tv a load of times and we recorded it because yeah i was obsessed with helicopters as a kid. I am aware I'm going on a massive random tangent here. I was obsessed with helicopters as a kid and uh, my dad used to write to like the companies like Westland and shit like that and they sent me loads of fucking helicopter catalogues. You know, like their brochure for the helicopters you, they made and you could buy <laughs> and they sent it to a fucking kid who was like eight. Probably younger than that to be fair. But anyway, this I don't think these buildings look as good as the um, the Mega Drive version. I don't think they look as good as the Amiga version, but you know what game you're playing. You know what this is a port of, and clearly it's a port of Thunderblade. Good to see that, like all the other versions, it's balls horrifically hard. Right. Hey, at least your helicopter looks like, well, Blue Thunder. Oh, the 80s, where you could just nick everything, especially if you were Sega, and there was no recourse for your action. I mean, look at the sample speeds they nick from stuff like that. I mean, the werewolf. In Altered Beasts is from American Whale from London, isn't it? Yoink! Go on, let me get to the boat. Oh, keyboard solo. Did you hear that? Cheeky little keyboard solo going on there. The controls are a little sluggish. That might be an emulation thing, but it runs everything else fine on Shah, so it might just be me being shite. Thing. But yeah, come on, get to the boat. Ironically, I should be saying get to the chopper, shouldn't I? See what I did there? Right, so the boat. So this should be the boat from the arcade and not the boat from the Mega Drive version, because again, this is an arcade port. So yeah, we fly through two cities and there's no indication 
clearly I, it's supposed to be in reverse, but it doesn't feel like it's in reverse. There's, um, yeah, there's no indication that there's a fucking ocean, seafront, sea, lake, I don't know, coming up. Oh, you ball jockey. This is harder than a Mega Drive, I would say. Maybe if I do this a little bit more. Maybe if I get a white stick. I don't know. Yoink. Why hit me? So what is it? Hey, at least the uh, PC Engine version of Power Drift is better than the Amiga version, uh, you know, of the same game. I'm not looking at what's firing at me because I'm looking ahead of me. I just realised I got a shadow and it's distracting me. Maybe if I do that, since we don't run out of bullets. Right, hang on. I'm going to have to put it, the pad down so I can do it like this. Yeah, why am I not firing my rockets all the time? Because, you know, ground attack and shit. I tell you what, though, playing like this has given me massive cramp in my hand. Also, why can't you hack the PC Engine Mini? Because then I could put shit like this on there, and I could have all the Sega ports. Because obviously the PC Engine had a lot of Sega ports that the Mega Drive didn't, like Shinobi and shit. I never understood that. Right, so I can hold down fire for my Vulcans, but not for the rockets, which I guess kind of makes sense if you think about what rockets are. It's going a bit deep for a video game though, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> oh. Also, and I've said it before my gameplays of this on various versions, but you know, we're in like a town in America and shit. How does someone, you know, sneak in this much bloody hardware and no one notices it? Because look, all the tanks and shit are downtown. Like, when did no one wake up one day and just go, oh look, it's a tank. I know, and there's a helicopter over there. And look, there's a plane. One more go. So yeah, be careful what you wish for, and don't meet your heroes. I remember this being Supoib. And now when I look at this, like the effects, I, I guess though, again, you know, kudos to them for trying to do something. Um, we could argue like more kudos to Ditex for doing something and pulling it off on the Amiga. Um, but yeah, it's ugly, isn't it? I mean, the sprites and that, they're all cool on this stage. But that building effect, it's fucking ugly. These controls are sluggish as well. The Mega Drive's got better controls. See, I knew there was a reason for me to revisit this game. You know, controversial and all that shit. How my opinions change. And how awful I am at it. And where's the burp this feather came from? And stuff. And also, why does it have an easy mode? And what is it with your fucking... Because in the arcade you would continue, I'm pretty sure you would continue from where you died. But then having said that, maybe I'll, I'll fire right the arcade... Well, I don't need to fire the arcade version up to a comparison video on meme. Because obviously, it's the pinnacle version. We're comparing the ports. So obviously I'm going to have to do the Master System version next. And while it's not fair to do it as a comparison as such, I do want to revisit the Spectrum version. Because I remember being well impressed with that. But apparently... I'm the only person who is. Well, I give up. Apparently I'm shite at this as well as the Mega Drive version and the Amiga. Consistency is my thing. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day on the PC Engine. And what do you think of this version compared to the Mega Drive version? And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.